Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome guys to yet another incredible video. Today we're going to be comparing the Canon 70D, which this video is being shot on right now, and the Canon EOS M50. Now this is an incredible camera, as is the Canon 70D. There's a couple downsides though to both of these cameras, which you guys might want to consider if you're going to be purchasing these cameras, or if you own the 70D and you're looking to upgrade. So that was my biggest, biggest problem. As over the past few months, I've seen the Canon M50 growing in the public spotlight and I've just been like, kind of blowing it off up until recently. And that's when I really took it seriously. Canon has created an incredible camera with the M50. They have put so much into a tiny little package. Now this camera by itself is about half the weight of the Canon 70D. For vlogging purposes and photography, this is excellent. Not only that, this shoots in 24.2 megapixels, whereas this shoots in 20.2. That's one fifth extra the quality. So if you're gonna be blowing this up in Photoshop or you're gonna be printing out your photos, the Canon M50 is definitely a lot better because you won't be losing the quality. As well, this thing for B-roll, for video, is excellent. It shoots 4K, which the Canon 70D does not. You guys have all probably heard by now if you've seen the Canon M50 videos, this thing does not have dual pixel autofocus in the 4K 24fps mode. Yes, guys, I completely understand. It has aperture priority. Now, if you could turn that off, that'd be excellent. You could just leave it as is. You're not gonna be using it for vlogging. You're probably gonna be using it for video and tracking and you're probably gonna set it down on a tripod and use it like that. For that situation, it's completely perfect. It works fine. Now, for vlogging though, the Canon 70D is great. I've been loving this camera. I've been setting it up on a tripod, walking around with it for a while. It's heavy though. That's my biggest gripe with this camera. Other than the fact that it shoots in 1080p, 30 FPS. Now, if I wanted to get B-roll, I could never get it on the 70D because I could never slow down my footage. The Canon M50, on the other hand, though, shoots in 1080p, 60 FPS. If you slow that down to 40%, you're at 24 FPS. Now, yeah, 24 FPS is not the smoothest. It's not 60, it's not 120, but it's 24 slowed down. 1080p, you can still use this thing in 30 FPS, you can use it in 60, you can use it in 24. 720p, you can shoot in 120 FPS max. You can also shoot in 60 FPS. Either way, those are both great options. Now the one thing is, the 70D had terrible 720p. I've used the 720p on the Canon M50, it's a lot, lot better. Now it's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Another great thing about the Canon M50, it's using the brand new Digic 8 processor, which allows it to be a lot, lot quicker. If you're in the operating system, it's not gonna slow down, it's not gonna freeze on you. When you're taking photos, it's gonna take them a lot quicker. Now, one of my problems that I'm not sure if a lot of the Canon 70D owners ever had, but I know I did, is whenever I would turn on the screen and I would leave the screen on for photography, it would freeze whenever I had the screen on and I would try to take a photo, and then it would unfreeze after a few seconds. And it was very, very annoying because I didn't feel that I could be using that high shutter speed to its full advantage because the whole camera would just freeze. I probably got a, a bunky model of the Canon 70D, I'm not sure guys, but I know that this thing is from 2013 and it's not great, you know, like it's a great camera in many, many regards. I've used it for many, many months now and I've loved almost everything about it, but there's a few things that have really killed me about the Canon 70D and that's why I really wanted to upgrade to the Canon M50. This thing is basically better in every regard. It's smaller, it's quicker, better video, better photography, what else could you ask for? So, now we're gonna be switching on over to the Canon M50, but before I do, guys, I wanna quickly say two things. One, I'm using the Tacstar SGC598 to record my audio, not the Rode VideoMic Go, although I did get it, it's still sitting in a box, though. The audio is gonna be a little bit better, not incredible. I'm not gonna be using it in this video, but I'm definitely gonna be using it in another video, probably doing a comparison between the two, so you guys can hear some real-world experience with it over the uh, Rode video mic go. As well, my setup is kind of a mess right now, but you guys can see I'm very well lit. Now, I made a video recently using the ESDDI and reviewing it, and I love the ESDDI 176 LED light kit. It's incredible. So let me turn off the uh, light for you real quick. You guys can see what the difference is between 
with it on and with it off. Okay, so guys, this is it with the light turned off. Obviously, my face has a big, big shadow on this half, and it's not that appetizing. On this side, it's pretty good, but it's not great. So now let's turn it back on, and you guys can see the quality with the light on versus off. Okay, so now the light is back on. Just really quick, wanted to show you guys that, but if you guys are looking to pick it up, definitely feel free. Check out the link below. It's on eBay for $35, brand new. I bought two of these things and they are incredible. They are magical. I could not ask for a better lighting kit for cheaper. So now we're going to be switching on over to the Canon M50. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so guys, this is the Canon 70D. Hefty beast. This thing feels incredible in the hand, super, super durable. But now I'm on the Canon M50, I truthfully like this camera a lot better. Now, I forgot to mention guys, they are both recording at the same exact settings, 400 ISO, f-stop of 5 and a 130th shutter speed, so that's pretty good. They're both shooting on the same exact settings, but the one difference is this is using the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. This is using the 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens. Hopefully that doesn't make too much of a difference, but this is what the audio kind of sounds like, same exact mic but it's using the new processor, so hopefully everything will be a little bit quicker and the audio should be picked up a little better, although it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Obviously, I told you guys a lot of my gripes with the Canon 70D. I really, really wish that this thing would record in a higher frame rate. And if it did record in a higher frame rate, I most likely would not have switched over to the Canon M50. I've been using this thing a lot for photography and I think a lot of the shots come out very, very well. I'm gonna display a few images right here for you guys to see. Also, on the background, I'm sorry, the light from the sun just keeps changing all over. So that's not my fault. That Blame the sun. I'm sorry. But now let me put up a few images that I've posted on my Instagram and you guys can definitely see that these images are very, very high quality. I've taken these on my Canon 70D. I've loved it so much. Now, obviously, yes, guys, I do a lot of editing to my photos. There's nothing wrong with that. I love editing my photos. I like how they look a lot better. And the Canon M50 and the Canon 70D are not that different in photography. This has a 24.2 megapixel sensor. This has a 20.2. Not that big of a difference. It's one fifth. Yes, it's gonna be different if you're blowing up the image. It's gonna have a little sharper detail, but other than that, it's not too terribly different. And that's what I really, really enjoyed about this camera was how good the photography is. And it's just gonna get better on this one, although it's not that big of a difference. It's one fifth, but it's not terribly big. If it was if it was doubling the quality, that would be crazy, but it's not doubling the quality. It's raising it by a pretty small amount. So 20% increase in photography, it's gonna make a difference, but it's not gonna be huge. So another thing that I really, really love about this camera, which I have already mentioned, is the fact that this thing has the dual pixel autofocus with the new Jigic 8 processor. It's super quick to track my face. You guys can see I get really really close and I'm moving back and forth and it's about a foot and a half that I'm going back and forth. It's tracking my face very very well and that's really really cool. I'm watching it right now guys as it's tracking my face. It has the box around my face. That box is not losing my face. It's staying on it which is really really cool. I really enjoy that. So guys, that's about all for this video. Hopefully you liked it. Canon 70D versus the Canon M50. A lot of people have been comparing the Canon M50 to the Canon 80D, but I don't own the 80D. I own the 70D. And truthfully, the 70D is not that different from the 80D. The ADD didn't even have 4K, which this one does. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to drop a like down below. Don't forget to comment your opinion and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Peace, guys.